Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made video on Chinese and Ukrainian multiple launch rocket systems supplied by US. When we compare the range of these artilleries with our indigenously developed Pinaka MLRS, it seems that the Pinaka has very less range compared to Chinese or American MLRS. The commonality between Chinese PHL-16 MLRS and US HIMARS is that they can not only fire guided and unguided rockets but can also fire tactical ballistic missiles up to a range of 500 km. So the number of such missiles is limited to one or two. At the same time, Indian Pinaka can fire various rockets of 122 mm and 214 mm. The maximum range can be achieved using guided Pinaka is up to 75 km. Each of these launchers are capable of firing 12 rockets in a space of 44 seconds. Though Pinaka has an impressive rate of fire capable of performing saturation attack, but it falls short before Chinese PHL-16 and AR-3 MLRS which is capable of firing 8 370mm rockets at a distance of 350km or 2 750mm Fire Dragon 480 tactical ballistic missile each capable of flying up to 500km. While these capability gap cannot be filled by developing a completely new MLRS which can fire a higher caliber rocket because it will take a lot of time to develop, Indian Army can definitely use its short-range ballistic missile SRBM to fill this gap. However, these SRBMs must be inducted in large number to provide a credible deterrence. Now there are two types of ballistic missile. One is a strategic which are nuclear capable and other one is tactical which may or may not be nuclear armed and has a lesser range than that of a strategic missile. The strategic missiles are for nuclear deterrence and can be used only as a last minute resort. However, the tactical missiles are the one which could be seen used more widely in modern era combat. Since most of the available short range ballistic missile in India are of strategic purpose, the use of same can raise false alarm of nuclear strike in a conventional warfare scenario. This is the reason why tactical ballistic missiles like Prale, which is especially being developed to be highly mobile and meet the conventional tactical ballistic missile requirement of Indian Army. While Prale can fill the gap of longer range attack, Pinaka can rain havoc at shorter range. At present, if we look into India's ballistic missile arsenal, it does not have any tactical ballistic missile except for Prithvi missile having a range of 350 km. If Indian Army has to hit a target deep inside Chinese territory at a distance of 500 km, it has to use Brahmos which is pinpoint accurate but quite an expensive option. This is the one reason to develop a conventional tactical ballistic missile Prale with a range between 350 to 500 km. Further, Brahmos can carry only 200 kg of warhead whereas Prale can carry warhead of up to 1 ton. While Prale is yet to enter into service with the Indian Army, Brahmos has been deployed along the LSE during the Indo-China standoff. Prale is going to be a canisterized tactical surface-to-surface -surface and short-range ballistic missile. The missile is the amalgamation of technologies developed for exo-atmospheric interceptor missile Prithvi Defense Vehicle PDV and Prahar tactical missile. It uses a new generation of composite propellant that HEMRL started working on during the development phase of Sagrika from KCs of missile family. The solid fuel is highly efficient and can provide more energy when compared to the fuel used in Agni series of missiles. This has enabled to reduce the overall size of the missile without compromising their operational range. Prala is also going to be superior than that of a traditional ballistic missile as it does not follow a complete ballistic trajectory and therefore difficult to detect when it is launched. The JVC or Jet Vane Control System recently observed during the launch provides the Prale ability to deviate from typical ballistic or parabolic path and maneuver during ascent of the missile by deflecting rocket exhaust vanes. This is why 
it is called quasi ballistic missile 2 the jbc is only available at the initial phase that is in boost mode when missile is ascending into the atmosphere prale is much needed replacement for prithvi as the later was liquid fuel based whose maintenance is also very difficult prale can have a payload of 350 kg to up to 700 kg high explosive perform fragmentation warhead penetration cum blast pcb and runway denial penetration sub munition rdps at a range of 150 km to 500 km during war time it can be used to target radar communication installations command and control centers and advanced airfields upon induction prale missile will become part of regiment of artillery as per the latest update the missile is just two more test away from being cleared for production once inducted into armed forces it will complement pinaka at longer range to provide credible deterrence against the pls rocket force this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector